What's up boys, it's Zebla Say so far, Jesus is the truth, and in today's video we're going with 5 tips to improve aim in the game of Rainbow Six Siege. Let's get right into it. Starting off with the first and most pivotal of all tips within this game, and that is your crosshair placement. Rainbow Six Siege is not like other games. In Call of Duty and PUBG and all these Battle Royale games, Warzone, you have this thing called aim assist, specifically on console. Aim assist basically makes it to where you auto track an enemy when your reticle is close enough to them, making it easier for you to hit the shots and aim better. Rainbow Six Siege completely disabled this within their multiplayer for console. So your crosshair placement is pivotal because in Rainbow Six Siege is one more unique thing, one shot headshot. No matter where you are on the map, no matter what gun you have, no matter how far of a distance, one bullet to the brain will kill someone. So, your goal with your crosshair placement is to always have it at head height. If you have your crosshair placement at chest height, even upper neck height, that's not good enough. You want to always have it at the head height wherever the enemy is you're fighting, whether they're standing up, crouched, wherever they are, you're always aiming for that head. Because even if you miss 30 bullets, if you just hit one, that is still a winning gunfight if you hit them in the head. Moving on to the next tip, and this is something that frustrates me a lot, and that's keeping a consistent sensitivity. I've talked about this so many times across so many videos, but people simply do not understand why it is so important. When you change your sensitivity over and over and over, you do not give your brain and the muscles in your hands any time to adapt and learn that sensitivity because you're constantly changing it. Let's say you have one good game with this sensitivity and then a bad game and then you change it. And it's just like you're not giving yourself enough time to truly understand the foundation of it. With everything you have to practice over and over and over, even if you suck or are good at first, you have to keep going, keep practicing to see and build up that foundational level. If you have no foundation with your sensitivity, you're never going to have consistent aim. There's no reason for you to be changing your sensitivity seven times a week, a month, or even a year. You should be trying to keep the same consistent sensitivity that works for you, make minor adjustments here and there by a few points, and just continue to get better. Moving on to the next tip, we have tracking. A lot of people don't actually know what tracking means, but it's very similar to what I explained in terms of aim assist. Tracking is when you keep your reticle on an object or an enemy for as long as possible while moving left or right or while the target is moving left or right. So basically, aim assist auto targets for you. It basically keeps the reticle close to where the enemy is moving and it helps you a lot, right? As I mentioned, Rainbow Six Siege does not have aim assist. Now there is a setting in the menu, but that's only for terrorists and I recommend you leave that off. So when you try and track an enemy, your goal is to keep your reticle where they're moving. A lot of times enemies will move the opposite direction when they encounter you in a gunfight or they'll continue to move the direction they were already moving a lot of times when they're conducting a wide swing. When they do this movement, you have got to be able to keep your reticle with them as they move. You have to understand the speed of how they walk and stuff like that. When you practice in training grounds, these terrorists actually walk the same speed that most operators do, so you're going to get a lot more comfortable with just tracking those movements. When you're able to keep your reticle on an enemy as they move, you're going to hit more shots and be more accurate. This is one of the best ways you can actually get more kills, even if you don't hit that headshot, as long as you hit every single other shot on the body at least, you'll have a better chance of winning that gunfight. Moving on to the next tip, we have flicks. Flicks is the, obviously the most flashy part of your mechanics. It's when, you know, those people like Bolo, Shy Ghost Boy, all of them hit that insane shot, that insane spawn peak, all that, you know, where they flick across the screen crazy, like, oh my gosh, how do you hit that? A lot of us try and do that with no practice in ranked, and we end up looking stupid and just missing. And sometimes we get close, but we just cannot consistently hit it. So I recommend for you to get better at flicks whenever you go into Terror Sun purposefully aim to the left or to the right of the terrors you're going to kill, then try and flick to their head. You may look stupid, you may miss a lot at first, but as you continue to get better and as you continue to not change your sensitivity, you're going to have a much more improved muscle memory and understand how far you need to flick to hit them in the head, especially at a consistent distance. So you're going to start hitting flicks more and more. And once you continue to do this procedure, once you get into ranked and actual gunfights and your reticle may not exactly be on the enemy and where they are, you're going to have a very accurate flick right to where they are and you're going to end up winning that gunfight. Cons consistent crosshair placement, muscle memory, sensitivity, tracking flicks, all of those are super, super, super important, right? And you want to consistently build those foundations and get better with them. Don't change your sensitivity, all that, right? But if you don't know how to control recoil at all, you're not going to be accurate in this game. And you're not going to be hitting headshots, let alone getting kills. Controlling recoil in this game, th thankfully, is very simple compared to other games. I don't know if any of you have ever played Rust before, but games like that are very difficult because recoil patterns are insane, right? But in Rainbow Six Siege, the recoil patterns are actually very predictable. 
One of the best ways you can actually find out what the pattern is of a certain gun is just walking up to a blank wall, aiming down sights, and holding down the trigger of whatever gun you have selected. When you do this, you actually see the pattern that the gun makes. When you see the pattern the gun makes, you simply pull down the opposite direction of what that pattern is, and then boom, you are bringing it closer to dead center, and you're going to have more shots more accurate downrange. This is important, especially when you're trying to track better, because if you can keep your reticle on the enemy without shooting, and then the second you start shooting, you're all over the place, but, but if you get better recoil control, you prevent that from happening, so you can keep all those full auto shots on target, downrange the entire time, and win more gunfights. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any other video ideas we'll see in the future. If you're interested in getting coached, please check out the description down below. And we thank you guys so much for watching. Jesus loves you, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. Oh.